All right, it is movie review time again. And yesterday I had the opportunity to see the 2023 movie, The Boogeyman. And now this is based on a short story by Stephen King, which was written back in 1973. So the story itself has some age on it. Uh, this movie is uh, about a family uh, the dad's a, a, I'm going to say he's a psychiatrist and a psychiatrist, psychologist, and he's a psychiatrist, uh, but his wife passes away. He has two daughters, and one day uh, this this guy comes in to see the psychiatrist, and he has uh, had kids, too, that have passed away, and, um, you know, he's worried that he is uh, being accused or will be accused or has been accused of being the cause of this. And then suddenly the uh, psychiatrist's children begin to be menaced by an entity that they refer to as the boogeyman. So uh, in terms of scares, again, I've said this before, I don't find most scary movies very scary. Um, I could see this for other people having, you know, the tension's pretty good. Um, I could see there being some times that, that people would probably jump. Um, the acting overall is pretty strong. Um, my biggest complaint, and I know this is going to be kind of ridiculous because this helps with the, the horror side of it, is a lot of the movies seem really dark. And I've always wondered sometimes in these horror movies, do these people just never pay their electricity bill? Do they not have light switches? Because it just seems like they go into rooms and places where it should have a light switch so they could just turn on or flashlights or anything like that. But I know it adds to the effect overall of the of the movie. Um, the special effects are, uh, I mean, they're okay. Uh, nothing super. Um, <clears throat> I would say overall this movie is decent. Um, I would probably, if I were you and interested in seeing this, if you haven't seen it yet, I would probably go to the matinee. I don't think I would pay full price for this. It's not full price level. It's matinee price if you want to catch it while it's in the theaters. So it's decent for, uh, it's PG-13, so, you know, that allows the, the teenage crowd to go in. So, you know, in terms of some of the scares, it's tamped down a little bit just because of that. But it's decent enough. And if you're looking for some, some scares, you know, for most people, they're there. So, again, go to the matinee. I'm going to give it three out of five stars.